All right, we now take a look at the draft board of the New York football giants with the fourth overall pick taking tackle Andrew Thomas out of Georgia. The big man, the big body, hopefully going to do big things for the Giants this upcoming season and far beyond. Then a pick that our guys love, Xavier McKinney, uh, the, the safety, really getting some positive pub, and uh, he's headed the way of the Giants, too. This is a need-based board. When we look at the Giants, uh, three offensive linemen types, two defensive backs, and a linebacker to go along with them. All right, so let's break down the Giants draft board, fellas. Uh, when we look at it, as we said it, a need-based draft here for the Giants. They targeted the defensive backs. They targeted the offensive line. They go fulfill those needs. Maybe not the splashiest board of any team we've seen, but Brady Quinn, uh, when you look at the Giants board, uh, does this grade out positively in your eyes? Yeah, in my eyes, I think David Gettleman's done a heck of a job when you really look at the value that they get in Andrew Thomas. You can plug him in and play right away year one. Same thing with Xavier McKinney. So I'll let people talk about them. But what about Matt Pert, the uh, the offensive lineman out of Connecticut? I mean, this guy is incredibly big and long, and he moves well laterally. Uh, still some development to go, but he's a guy that I really do feel like could be a longtime starter for them in the future. Darnay, Darnell, Darnay Holmes out of UCLA, the cornerback, a very fluid athlete. He has good cover skills. I like what he could potentially bring to the secondary, depending on where they want to put him in. Uh, and, and their last uh, or more, one of the more recent picks, Cam Brown, linebacker out of Penn State. If you are looking on a guy that just has freaky athleticism, freaky size and length, and probably, in my opinion, isn't done growing into it and isn't done growing into the player he's going to be, it's going to be Cam Brown. I, I think with the right coaching, with the right development, if he continues to grow into that body, he could be an absolute monster, in my opinion. And then Shane Lemieux, uh, part of that very talented offensive lineup there in Oregon, uh, obviously blocking for Justin Herbert, uh, struggled a little bit, I think, this past year versus some of the better opponents. We saw that uh, as, as you know, kind of started to wear on and evaluating some of the offensive line and coming from Oregon. But again, another guy that I think will end up being a reserve and could potentially develop into a starter. I think, totally agree on a lot of those points. I think it's fascinating to see what's going to happen. When, when two quarterbacks are taken one, two, or they're taken in the same city, they're going to be you know paired together their entire careers. Dave Gettleman decided to go with Andrew Thomas, who I think was a very safe pick. Not to say like it's a, a conservative pick. I think it was the smart pick. But Makai Becton was taken by the Giants, who the uh, the uh, excuse me by the Jets, who the Giants could have had, who I do think has a little bit higher upside, just because he's a mammoth of a human being. But I do think there's some risk involved with him because of you know some of the character stuff. Maybe possibly he gets too big, could eat his way out of the job. But these two guys are going to be compared. Uh, and, and how they do in their respective spots in the same city. One playing for the Jets, one uh, playing for the Giants. I think Gettleman made the right choice, but I think they made this, you know, the proper moves here to shore up an offensive line for Daniel Jones. You took him with the sixth pick out overall last year. You want to make sure you protect him. You've got to get some, open up some lanes for Saquon Barkley. Um, so a really solid, you know, job shoring up the, uh, the offensive line up front. And, you know, Andrew Thomas, an extremely well-coached player, started three years, played left tackle, played the right tackle, played both spots. He is a day-one starter who will be ready to come in and make an impact. Xavier McKinney out of Alabama, I think, is a great ball hawk in the secondary who can track, you know, a lot of, you know, cover a lot of ground out there. He's physical. He'll bring a mindset there. And then just to cap on what Brady was saying about Cam Brown, not only the physical you know potential that's there but also a team captain great leader i i always you know i think that's something again we get so caught up in the measurables you know how much production did the guy have some of the intangibles i think can matter that much more and if you talk to guys and we all do it when you talk to guys that last seven eight ten years in the nfl a lot of times they're the high character guys who understand the work ethic the studying and what it truly takes to be a professional. So top to bottom, I think it's a pretty solid job from the Giants, meeting needs and with the guys they chose to go with them. No, you're right, Danny. What did the no, uh, Giants need? They needed offensive tackle help. They got that uh, with those two picks, and then they got the, ta uh, the guard and Shane Lemieux, and also got help on defense, which they needed, especially on the back end, by drafting a bunch of athletes in day three. Uh, there's hard to argue with anything Dave Gettleman's done. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.